G'day and welcome to Tazdaz's Food Adventures. Our first adventure takes us to the freezer aisle of our local supermarket where we have on the menus cheeseburger with tomato relish. Here we have a quick look at the outside of the box and on the bottom we have the nutrition info and the ingredient list. So if you want to have a look at those just pause the video now. So here we have the cooking instructions, basically take the product out of the box, then out of the wrapper, and then in the microwave on the tray for two minutes. So let's have a bit of a look at the cheeseburger out of the box, so it's still in the wrapping, a little bit of condensation on there from when I removed it from the freezer, and as you can see it looks not too bad, not the greatest looking uh, meat patty in the world, but doesn't look terrible. So here's the cheeseburger out of the wrapper and as you can see as I twirl it around the actual burger and cheese seem to be more to one side of the burger than the other. So one side's getting a lot more of the cheese and burger whereas the other is getting a lot more bun so not a very uniform. The bun looks quite nice and has a lot of sesame seeds on it and here is a look at the crisping tray that we cooked the burger in. So our burger is ready to go let's put it in the microwave and see how it comes out. So here we are, this is the finished cooked product and it actually doesn't look too bad. The cheese is nice and gooey, so let's get in and have a bit of a twirl around and have a look at it. it looks to be cooked quite nicely and the bun looks really nice and fresh. Um, so let's uh, get it out of the tray and let's have a look at the base of the burger because it was cooked in a crisping tray. And as you can see here, it's actually come out looking quite nice and crispy. So bit unusual for a burger to have a crispy bottom um, normally they do it on the inside of the bun so let's get in there and have a look what it's like inside the burger as you can see the cheese has melted very nicely um, you can see the big blob of tomato relish on there and the top of the burger patty as well um, bit of a mess but I'm gonna get guess you get that with the uh, the melted cheese such as it is but it doesn't look too bad the buns pretty soft as you can see as it's all kind of scrunched up with me uh, prodding around with it so I've got my magic utility knife here which is actually a cheese knife and we're gonna cut it in half and have a look and see what it's like in the middle I know most people wouldn't uh, do this to their burger but in the name of science we're gonna do that today so there we go, it's a pretty decently sized patty, cheese is kind of thin and you can kind of see the tomato relish. So let's dig in there and have a bite and see what it tastes like. So mm, decent sized bite, as I said, patty's not too bad, very nice hint of the tomato relish, not much of the cheese and not much of the patty unfortunately. So we'll get in there and have another bite, uh, just for the sake of getting a decent idea of what this burger is really like. And again, the tomato relish is really the star of the burger. Um, you don't get a lot of cheese flavour. Um, I guess that's also because the cheese was a bit disproportioned, as was the burger. It, the burger kind of tasted a little bit like sausage meat, so not a lot of beef flavour in it. Um, overall, I would give this burger a probably a 2 out of 5 stars on a star rating system. It was $3.15 for the burger, so actually quite comparable to the cost of a normal cheeseburger here in Australia. So probably not the best value and probably best to pick it up on special if you can. But if you're like me and you don't have a lot of takeaways near you, it's not a bad alternative every now and again. So that's the on the menu cheeseburger with tomato relish. My first ever food review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and always the option to subscribe to support me. Thanks everyone and thanks for watching again.